A rattled warning is a rattlesnake's first line of defense. It's the signature sound of the desert, synonymous with danger. It's the reason for Thelma and her family's infamous status as symbols of the American Southwest. Young snakes shed their entire skin every few months. But rattlesnakes are born with a tiny button at the end of their tails. And this becomes the matrix for their rattles. Each time they shed, a modified scale remains behind and adds another segment to the rattle. Operating at up to 2,000 cycles per second, the shaker muscles used to vibrate the segment are some of the fastest known to man. And they have an all or nothing function. The muscles work only at full capacity and they don't get tired. This is a rattle from a rattlesnake. I've always wondered how rattlesnake rattles make sound. Well, if you look inside, you'll see it's pretty hollow. This is very surprising. I thought rattlesnake rattles worked like maracas, and they had little bits inside that knocked around to make sound. But they're hollow, so that can't be the case. But look here. If I pull on the rattle, a piece comes off. It seems like the rattle can come apart in different sections. Here's an image that can help us see how the sections fit together. One section is highlighted in white. See how all of the segments fit loosely inside each other? Now look at this. Notice how the segments aren't firmly connected. They have space to wiggle around and move. So when the rattle is shaken, those segments knock into each other. And that's how a rattlesnake rattle rattles. So that we can cut it. The tail is still hands. dry and I'm going to see if it breaks. Yep. Just like crab legs. Mm. So there's a little uh, bit of a fleshy bit. And then the tail is in segments. So they're like little uh, nature's Legos here. <laughs> so that section comes off, that's the tail, so that'll build a new section inside. And then each one has like three little nodges, nodules that link into each other. 